Hi, welcome back to our channel. With the release of the Gryposuchus, we'd like to look back at these other reptilian dinosaurs. What's special about these dinosaurs is that they lived on land and in water. Here are the Gryposuchus, Sarcosuchus, Caprosuchus, Presosuchus, Adaphosaurus, Lothosaurus, and Tanistrophius. Here are Gryposuchus, it's a wild white big evolution figure. Fossils have been found in Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and the Peruvian Amazon. It was estimated that it could reach 10 meters in length, about 33 feet. What I like about this figure is this wild raw feature. Having a water wheel like this. It even has soft plastic teeth. Here we are Sarcosuchus. He's a massive bite of power primal attack, lodged in the early Cretaceous. 133 to 112 million years ago in what is now Africa and South America. First means were discovered during several expeditions spanning 1946 to 1959 in the Sahara. In 1964, an almost complete skull was found in Niger. It was quite a large figure. He activated his action by moving his tail around like this. There's a button there that opens and closes its jaw. Here we have Caprosuchus, it's a strike attack figure part of epic evolution theme. It is known from a single, nearly complete skull, which was collected from the Upper Cretaceous Formation in Niger. Here are some images of the actual skull. You activate its action by pushing it down like this, which always encloses its mouth. Look at his huge overlapping teeth. Here we have Presosuchus, you strike attack down a trackers, first discovered in Brazil around 1928, then shipped to Germany for studies. German paleontologist von Hume first named Presosuchus around 1938. It's activated a strike attack feature, as burn on its back, which always encloses its mouth. Adaphosaurus is a strike attack dino trackers figure, lived in what is now North America and Europe around 303 to 272 million years ago. The most characteristic feature is the large sail along its back. Apex Predator Demetrodon also had a tall dorsal sail at the same time period. To activate its feature, you twist the tail like this and its head moves side to side. Here we have another Saurus, he is named to pack down a Tragus figure, like approximately 240 to 210 million years ago in the Triassic period. Fossils being distributed from North America and Europe to China, it is best known member of the Nothosaur order. As a Dench pack figure, it is a basic figure with various points of articulation only, while well, I like best his head sculpt. Here we have Tanistrophius, he is a fierce force dino escape figure, Lived during the Triassic period in Europe, Asia, and North America, it is recognizable by its extremely elongated neck, which was longer than its torso and tail combined. To activate its feature, you push its tail down like this, and the neck moves down. This is another one of my favorite figures due to its long neck. Some of these are my favorite figures, and there's such a variety in their sculpts. I think Mattel put a lot of thought into these figures, as they look really great. Hope you enjoyed taking a look back at these figures. Thanks for watching.